The icon of Sin was the most mysterious boss in the Doom franchise. Showing up in the final stage of Doom 2, it appeared as a goat-like biomechanical head on a wall with an exposed brain. This final boss did not count as an enemy because it was just a wall texture. It would summon endless enemies to attack the player. The actual target was John Romero's head hidden behind its brain and it was placed there as an easter egg. The icon of Sin would have some dialogue that made no sense, but when the sound file was reversed, it said this, To win the game, you must kill me, John Romero. This easter egg was created by the artists on the development team. It was supposed to be hidden until John Romero himself found it when he was exploring the map with the no clipping cheat mode. Nobody told John Romero about this, so he decided to add a little message to let the artist know that he found it. He recorded the sound file, then its pitch was changed and reversed to sound like something demonic. The original scan of John Romero's face was taken from a Business Week photo shoot in 1994. Even though only its head was visible in Doom 2, the ending does say it had limbs so it's possible it had a very large body as well. It was known by many names like Demon Spitter, The Gatekeeper, Wall Demon, Boss Brain, or just boss. The official name of the final boss of Doom 2 was confirmed by John Romero on Twitter in 2016. He said it was called the Icon of Sin. And in the Doom 2 RPG game, it appeared with a bulky body made of mechanical parts with a goat head. The UAC's computer systems were infected and a virtual version of the Icon of Sin can be encountered in the game. It went by the name of VIOS. The sound file used for the Spawn Cube was also used by other companies. It was used in several movies, one of them was Dragonheart, and also the TV series of Xena Warrior Princess, and a documentary called The Hawking Paradox. The file name of what the Icon of Sin says in Doom 2 was also copied in Half-Life Opposing Force, but it's unclear if it was used in the game at all. The sound file says this, To win the game, you must kill me, Randall Pitchford. The Icon of Sin's design was taken from a demon named Baphomet, and the way it spawns monsters in Doom 2 was a reference to a book from John Milton called Paradise Lost. The book was about the story of how Adam and Eve had lost their place in the Garden of Eden. It also mentions how Satan gave birth to his daughter Sin. She was born through his head and was the gatekeeper of hell. Now in the Doom game from 2016, there was a little information about the Icon of Sin. The story goes back to a time when a civilization of humanoids worshipped the elemental wraiths of Arjun Danur, who were seen as gods. They were protected by the strongest warriors called the Night Sentinels. The First Age was a time when the demons of hell would invade Arjun Danur, but they failed because of the Night Sentinels' use of the elemental wraiths' powers. Later on, a hell priest called D. Grav would strike a deal with a warrior of Arjun Danur. This warrior wanted his son brought back to him because he was lost in the war, and in return, he would show the Hell Priest where the Night Sentinels rested. And when they were defenseless, D. Graf put a curse on them and trapped their souls forever. This would later be known as the Well, which then became the source of Argent energy for the UAC. This warrior who gave up Argent Denur to Hell would then be known as the Betrayer. But when it was time to return his son to him, he was brought back but in the form of the Icon of Sin. It was a weapon of infernal mass destruction, and with it, Hell conquered the land. The Betrayer was then repaid with suffering. The Doomslayer Testaments also mention the Betrayer would then go on to bestow the Doomslayer with armor to get revenge against Hell. The Icon of Sin was reported by the UAC to remain dormant when it was seen in the Doom game from 2016. Imagine yourself worshipping before the Icon of Sin in awe of its splendor, even as it sleeps till the call of ages comes. If you fired a rocket launcher upon the Icon of Sin, it would release a spawn cube that was seen in Doom 2. The original design for this image in Doom from 2016 was just supposed to be an homage of the final boss of Doom 2, but it was kept in the game throughout development and eventually became the Icon of Sin for the story. The last thing that I want to talk about is the box art of Doom. John Romero and an illustrator by the name of Don Punchetz were working with a bodybuilder to come up with the perfect pose for the game.
but as John suggested many poses, the bodybuilder just could not picture the scene of demons around him. After 10 minutes of trial and error, John told the bodybuilder to pose as a dying demon that was grabbing his leg and arm, while John would pose as the doom guy with a gun. John gave the perfect pose and they settled for the demon in grabbing his arm instead of his leg. So in some way, John Romero is the doom guy, but just on the box art. So that's some information and history about the icon of sin and doom. If you are a fan of the Doom franchise, tell me which Doom game is your favorite. Put it down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like rating on it and subscribe with notifications turned on. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos and I'll see you in the next video.